Yo, yo, what's good, YouTubers? King Ali back at it once again. Royalty Concepts TV. Tonight, uh, unexpected pickup. Was at the mall. Um, when was this? A couple of days ago. And um, these were sitting on the shelf. The Nike GT Jump. Um, they had my size. They had a size 12 available. I didn't think twice about it. They were on sale for 99 bucks, so I wanted to see what these things were about. I was in a hurry, so I went ahead and grabbed them, uh, brought them home, walked around in them, and I got to tell you, this is probably one of the most comfortable, responsive, bounciest basketball shoes I've ever tried on, probably next to the LeBron 10. These things are super bouncy, as you can see. There's a very, very massive four foot zoom unit. You can see it from this cut right here and then you can see it through the bottom. So it pretty much takes up this entire surface right here at the bottom. And then in the heel right here, you can see it comes all the way back. And then on the inside, you have a full length zoom strobe. So uh, all I gotta tell you, man, is if you can find these in your size, grab them. Definitely, if you're a hooper, I would say grab these. Can you pull this off casually? I mean, I know I can. I'm probably pretty sure I can pull this off. Yeah, this colorway is uh, it's called the Chaos colorway. Uh, I guess paying homage to Kobe Bryant and whatnot, you know, the Joker or whatnot. Yeah, it's called Dark Raisin. It's like a really, really dark hue of purple. You got some of this crimson, it looks like. This dark gray midsole. Got some light crimson in the back for the tongue. And this is a glow in the dark outsole. The glow is really, really bright. Yeah, the outsole glows in this TPU panel right here on the four foot glows. But uh, this is something that's very reminiscent to me. Like this, this could have been a LeBron shoe. Yeah, if this was the new LeBron, these would have sold. Well, I mean, these actually sold really good, believe it or not. That's why I was surprised about the size 12 being in stock. But what I did notice when I got home is the midsole, as you can see right up in there, is already creased. I don't know what that is. It looks like some glue or something. Yeah, the midsole was kind of creased on the medial side, right up in the forefoot area. And then it's the same on the left foot. And then when I looked at the bottom, it was slightly dirty. So you could tell whoever had it, like you could see right here maybe. Yeah, whoever had them, uh, they probably warm for a day or whatever, man. They hooped in them or something like that and brought them back to the store. So um, I actually like the shoe, man. Just comfort-wise, it just makes sense to have the shoe. For me, it's, this is crazy what they did to this shoe, man. As far as two fat-ass zoom units, one in the heel and the forefoot, and then the zoom struggle. Yeah, it don't get no better than that. I don't know what type of midsole this is. Uh, maybe it's just a far line. This is really soft though. This might be a cush line or something like that. This might be a cush line uh, midsole. Don't quote me on that. If you do know, let me know down in the comment section below. But yeah, if you go on Nike.com and these things, you can't even find them. Uh, they got size, but I think like maybe a size eight and a damn eighteen. But yeah, you got this holographic tongue, this little iridescent logo, two arrows pointing down. If you can see that with the little line and then Nike check on top. This is the box. This is the label. Nike Zoom GT Jump, Dark Raisin Tumble Gray. But again, they call this the Chaos Colorway. Uh, let me get up in there. That's the footbed. What does it say? It says Zoom Strobel, Zoom Four Foot, Zoom Hill. Yep, P Bats Frame and Cush Line. Man, these things are crazy, bro. And I think retail was 180 on these. Uh, that's just a little Nike design on the footbed of the left foot. What is to say? Powered. 
powered by air is what it says. But yeah, man, crazy responsive, crazy comfortable. Again, um, if this was a LeBron shoe, if they would have found a way to put a LeBron logo on these, I promise you, these, if they were LeBrons, if it was LeBron uh, 19, per se, or even the 20, these things would have sold, and this would have been a hit for him. But I got that video coming next. I went ahead and picked up the LeBron 20s, the Miami Heat colorway. I'm about to do that video in a second. But yeah, man, if you can get your hands on a pair of these, and if you're a hooper, trust me, you'll love this shoe, especially if you're a guard or something like that. Power forward, maybe. Uh, these things are super responsive. Very breathable. As you can see, you can see the fly wire. Those dark lines right there. Dynamic fly wire, actually. Yeah, this could have easily been a LeBron. Yeah, they could have threw a LeBron logo right there on the tongue somewhere and called it a day. But anyway, man, that's the video for these. Again, if you can find them, I would say go ahead and grab them. Try eBay. Um, I don't know, man, if you want to go to StockX or grab them, but I do believe this is worth the purchase. Again, they are $99 at Foot Locker if you can find them. I went on FootLocker.com and I couldn't even find the shoe, so... I don't know, man. I'm going to go ahead and do this. If you're looking for the shoe, screenshot this. Show them the barcode. Maybe they can search it for you. There you go. You're welcome. Uh, again, they're $99. They still should be $99 bucks at FootLocker.com. Again, grab these things if you can. This is King Ali signing out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. If you got these, let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, man, I'm out.